Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we're going to look at the Advanced Surfaces chapter in the Learning Guide. I want to bring that up here for you. Let's go to the Learning Guide, and I'm going to click on the bookmark here. There's a chapter for Simple Surfaces where we introduce you to the idea of creating a tin, triangulated, irregular network and applying contours to it. But I'm going to cover this Advanced Surfaces today. And we're going to take a look at um, a number of things that you're likely to run into if you put together a surface for a site survey. And we'll cover those in a couple of different videos. But let's get started with this out of the learning guide. Let me move this off to the side. And here's the final survey that we ended up doing for this client. It's one that we did in-house here. And we're going to take a look at the surface part of this uh, survey project in this video today. I'm going to start by opening up a sample survey called Learn Advanced Contours. And we're going to turn right around and save that as Advanced Surfaces. Okay, so here are the topo points involved in that surface for this project. So let's take a look at the data that we're starting with here in this example. I'm going to open up the Traverse Manager. In fact, I'll just pin this here. And we can see that we have a Traverse called Topo Points, and that Traverse is currently tagged. We call that check mark a tag. In this video, we're going to create a surface from this Traverse. So I can right-click the Traverse in the Traverse Manager, and near the bottom, I can say Create Surface for the selected Traverse. And when I do, Traverse PC is going to do a number of things. In fact, you can see it's already created the surface for me. But it's done a couple of things that are really important for us to look at here today. One of them is that it has used the Traverse name as the name of the surface. And of course, I can change that to any name that I want. It's put the date that the surface was generated or first created in the description column. And then this is what I want to show you today. Because we right-clicked Traverse and said insert a surface, Traverse BC said the source for the place I'm going to get my topo points for that surface is that topo points Traverse, or the one that I selected. And this is important because by having a surface get its points from a Traverse, I can have more than one surface and allows me then to compare surfaces or generate cut and fill sheets between the two surfaces. So it's important if I plan on doing some development on this site. In this particular case, we're just picking up the existing ground. So we might say something like this, existing ground. And that would be an appropriate way to describe what we're doing out here. 